Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a glossy text effect in Inkscape. It's actually really, really easy. There's not much at all that you need to do. So I am over here in Inkscape. If you don't have Inkscape or you don't really know how to get it set up, I have a different video. I'll link to it in the video description or it's going to have the little thing up there right now you can click on. It'll show you how to download Inkscape and how to get it all set up so that it looks like my screen. Okay, also Inkscape is totally free. It is 100% free design software. Okay, so you can see that I've got my name here in this retro font and it looks glossy. It's got these little um, highlights on it and a shadow behind it to kind of lift it off the page. But this is a nice effect if you're doing like um, donut things or just anything that you want to look smooth and glossy. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and just kind of chunk it up to the side and we're going to start from scratch. So you want to click your text tool here. You'll click that and then you need to click onto your screen so that you get a cursor. And again, I'm just going to type my name. Um, this is the Retro Groovy font. It is a font I have installed on my computer and because it's installed on my computer, it's available in Inkscape. Inkscape does not have its own fonts. It works off of what you have installed on your computer. I will also link to where you can get this font. Uh, you can get it for free. So, let's work with this. So I have typed out my name. Now I want to um, make this larger, but if I just try to click on it, you see I, this weird stuff is going on. I need to get out of my text tool. I'm just gonna click this selector tool, and now I can come in and change the size of this. Okay, um, another thing that you'll want to do is lock your screen. Yours will look like this, it won't be locked. So if you come and change the size of yours, it can get all like, scaled out pretty weird. If you lock it, all it does is get bigger and smaller when you drag your little handles over there. Okay, so um, let's make this a different color so that you can see how this effect works on different colors. Let's make it maybe just a little bit of a different pink. Um, your colors are going to be down here. Yours may look different than mine, um, but again, I've got that other video that's going to show you how to set up Inkscape and you can scroll through the colors by using these arrows. So you see I'm in the greens, and now I'm kind of in a basic thing. Over here was more of the pinks. So let's work with this color that we have here, and let's get this effect. So all we did was type out a word. Now I want you to come to Filters, Bevels, and then scroll this down to the Matte Jelly. Now it's going to um, pull up this other little box for you over here. You can drag this and move it to where it's not covering your design any. I'm going to move the design over a little bit. My box went away. Let me get it back. Okay. Now it's going to have some preset numbers in here. Don't worry about that. We're going to change this all to look how you want it to look. But what you need to do, it's really important, you need to hit Live Preview. If you don't do that, you can come in here and you can change this all you want and you're not going to see anything happen. If you hit Live Preview, it already put a little bit of the glossy effect in. This is what I had it set on for this one that I made up here. So let's change some things and see how it all works. Okay, so smoothness. This is how big or small you want this little light source to be. So if I jump it up a lot, you can see this got really spread out. If I jump it up even more, it's gone. It's like completely off the paper. So that doesn't look really glossy to me. That looks kind of like pixelated. So you would just play, that one's a good one. I mean, it's still a little bit pixelated, but it's a pretty good like, this looks like some jelly or something now. Okay, brightness. Again, this is how bright you want this light to be. We don't want it to be that bright. That's kind of crazy bright. But I mean, you can take this up and make some distorted looking text. Um, if you're looking for that kind of grunge look, you can use this a little bit for that too. 
So I'm going to take this back down. Okay. Elevation. Elevation and azimuth have to do with where this light, we're putting light onto the design. That's what's making this look. It's like we're putting a light on it. This has to do with where your light is coming from. So let's just change this elevation a little. And you can see, did you see that? The light is now up here, where before it was down here. Watch, I'm just gonna move it around. Okay, now you see it's back down here again, instead of being up at the top. So I'm just gonna put the elevation just kind of where it's a little more in the middle of the letters. And then I'm gonna change the azimuth. This is where is the light gonna come from the top? Is it gonna come from the bottom? Is it gonna come from the side? Let's watch and see. Okay, do you see it moving around? Do you see how the light source is moving? So it's up to you where you want your light to come from. The way I have it set up right now, the light is coming from the top. It is coming straight down the letters. So now I can kind of play with this a little bit more and get it just to look kind of how I want it. That is too much. Okay, I'm gonna bring that smoothness down a little bit. Maybe bring the brightness up a notch. Okay, so you just play with that and get that to look how you want it. But that is the basic effect. That is what's gonna make you have your glossy, shiny um, letters. When you're done, you need to hit apply. And then you can close this out. Okay, so now your text has that glossy, shiny look. Let's move this one in so we can kind of see the difference in the two that I've made. And you can play with it and get it to look however you want it. Let's put the shadow behind it though, because that really helps it pop off the page. So again, I'm gonna move that over. Okay, so to get the shadow, again, we're gonna to come to filters shadows and glows and we want to do a drop shadow and we're going to get this little box pop up again so i just moved it over here and um, make sure you hit live preview so you can see what's happening you can see the shadow already came this is the exact shadow that i used for the previous one but i want to show you how you can play with this too you want to leave this on an outer shadow but i mean if you change it you can see the different things that happen So back to an outer shadow. Okay, now this again has to do with where your shadow will be located. This blur is either going to give you like a super blurred out shadow, like this shadow is literally taking up this whole page right now. If you drop it in, it gets more and more defined. Do y'all see that? You want this to be pretty small. You want it to be where you can actually tell that it's a shadow and again these are the positions of your shadow it's going to move your shadow horizontally or vertically let's do the horizontal first so if i move it all the way over here you see my shadow moved to the left or i can move my shadow all the way to the right depending on where your light source is where you put your lights is where you want your shadow these lights came in from the top so we want this shadow to be pretty even with the design because you know if our light was coming from the left or coming from the right we would want to move um, the shadow from side to side but because our light is coming from the top we kind of want this to be just pretty much right behind the letters okay now our vertical this is going to move us up and down there I am up there I am down our lights coming from the top so we want our shadow to be a little bit below just like that and that's it we can apply close this out and now you have your own glossy text and the the drawback to this is if I change the color of this like let's make it um, this purple here it looks a little different depending on what color you make it let me make it a different pink See, now those aren't as noticeable, those shadows are not, and you cannot go back in and edit them after you have done them. You have to start from scratch. So 
You need to work with the color that you want for sure and then come and put in your um, bevel and then put in your shadow. And that's all there is to it. All right, we'll see you next time.